much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, click that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. Today, guys, we are going to have another epic battle of the BBs. A couple of my subscribers actually asked for this. You guys wanted to see Downtown BB versus Uptown Girl, and I decided to give the people what they want. And so today, these girls are gonna battle it out. So, if you guys are here for Downtown BB and Uptown Girl and Instant Ride Play, you guys go ahead and give me a big thumbs up right now. Thank you so much for that. Also, I have a big announcement at some point in the video. I'm gonna let you guys know who won Chillax because I recently did a giveaway and it just ended yesterday and we have one lucky winner and no one knows who that winner is but me. But I'm gonna let you guys know during the video who won and I'm so excited to share that with you guys as well. And so guys, let's go ahead and get to this battle. Ladies and gentlemen and all Bright Play pals, welcome to the main event, another battle of the BBs. Here in Las Vegas at BB's Palace, this promises to be an epic battle between two strong contenders. In the red corner, weighing in at 97 pounds, making her World BB Battle Federation debut is Downtown BB. And in the blue corner, also weighing in at 97 pounds, in her first bout is the contender, Uptown Girl. Now this match will follow World BB Battle Federation rules and will consist of three one minute rounds with a one minute rest period between each round. The battle will be scored and the champion will be determined by the Instant Ride Play Pal judges. Okay BBs, I want a good clean battle between you two and good luck to you both. Let's get ready to battle BB! Okay guys, let's get started with round one. Okay, for round one guys, we've got Downtown BB and the theme of round one was black and white. I wanted the girls to focus their outfits and use black and white as their inspiration. And so Downtown BB looks fabulous with her little black and white. She's actually wearing the glasses that belong to Uptown Girl, but I think it goes great with her outfit. She's got on these wonderful earrings right here that belong to Chillax, love them. And this like zebra print jacket that I got online when I purchased a bunch of stuff. This simple little black like pleather top is from Haunt Couture and she has on Chillax's pants and these cute little zebra like print shoes that I believe might be like Monster High or something like that, but it's so cute. I got it in a bunch of stuff that I purchased online. And so guys, this is the round one look that we have for Downtown BB. So this is Uptown Girl and her round one look. And what I did with her, it was something really simple. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to style your dolls if you don't have a bunch of different things from other dolls that aren't ONG dolls. So she has on Royal B's glasses. She has on her own top. And I put this little like bling on the front there so it would kind of match Royal B's jacket and the little uh, sparkles and stuff on her shoulder pads. She actually has on her own little stockings and boy shorts and socks and I just gave her a different pair of shoes so that it would be more with a black and white theme. And so guys, this is the look that I have for Uptown Girl. And so this concludes round one. So you guys let me know in the comments below which is your favorite look and who you think won round one. Okay guys, so now we are ready to start round two and let me tell you what's going on with round two. Both girls had to put on an outfit that included gold. So that was the inspiration for these looks. And let me tell you, both of these girls came to win. And so let's go ahead and start first with Uptown Girl. Now, when I put this outfit together for Uptown Girl, I thought this was everything. I wanted to see what she would look like with gold, with her pink hair and stuff like that. I thought that would look really good on her. And so I did a couple of things that I wanted to point out. First of all, she is wearing a lot of the boss's stuff. And that's okay, because she bossed it up and made it look even better. Um, she also has on Class Prez's little gold glasses, which I thought went great. And I put a little bling down here, so it would give the impression almost that she had like a top or the choker necklace was even grander than it already was. But the key thing that I'm most proud about is that horrendous little jacket. <laughs> 
that actually came with the boss. I cut the sleeves off, guys, and it looks so much better to me. I don't know, just to me. I like the way it looks. Um, and then I paired it with this little belt that I had, and I gave her this cute little purse. She does look like an uptown girl, and of course she has on the watch that belonged to the boss that goes with this outfit. And she's wearing some shoes here that I previously blinged out. They're just some gold shoes that I purchased online, and I thought they were a little you know regular and plain and so I bling them a little bit and so I think this is a fantastic look for uptown girl now downtown BB guys is an around the way girl she is like you know a city girl and so I gave her a look that I thought was so city so she has on 24 K DJ's headphones um, as well as her little jacket she has on her own earrings a little choker necklace that I found um, in a lot of things that I got she has on the same belt that actually Uptown Girl had on. And then she has on a Han Couture top, this little pleather top, and a Han Couture skirt. And these are the little boots that actually belong to Miss Independent. And the purse that she has is the Miss Positive purse that comes with the Uptown Girl um, that is released as a single. So it, it, it doesn't come in the amazing surprise one, but if you get her as a single, she has a different purse and this is the purse that comes with it. I thought that this was a totally cute look. And so this is the round two look for Downtown BB. So now we're on to round number three and the inspiration for these looks, it had to include a sparkly top. So we're gonna start first with Downtown BB to check her out. So Downtown BB's look was all about kind of like colors and things like that. I wanted, I love the fact that this sparkly top it had like different hints of other colors inside and I thought it went well with her blue hair and her eyeshadow and everything so I gave her first of all this denim hat that I made I mentioned that previously and I'm gonna show you guys how I made it I actually used um, neon licious's hat as the kind of pattern for how I created it but anyway and also she has on the boss's earrings and necklace I mean that makes anything look fabulous she has on one of my Snapstar dolls, a uh, little jacket. I turned it, uh, like I put it on her, but I put it on upside down and that gives it a flare collar effect. So I love doing that sometimes with some of my jackets and stuff. And she has on a little Barbie purse, weekend mode, yeah. And so she has on these cute little bottoms that belong to Miss Independent, cute, cute, cute. And she's got on some Monster High, I think they are Monster High um, boots, and those are cute as well. I love the little fringe and stuff hanging off of them. That little look is adorbs. And so guys, this is the third round look for Downtown BB. So Uptown Girl, I wanted to give her a different look and not so like put together and corporate looking or like glamorous or whatever. I wanted to get, make her a little edgier. And so this edgy look, what I did was, if you notice in the first round look, she still had her hair kind of the way it comes out of the box um, where it's really, really, really like um, hard until you comb it out. So I just combed out a little bit, bit of it to give her hair just a little bit of volume. So I did that this time and she looks cute. She's got on a Han Couture top. Um, she has on Roller Chicks earrings. She has on a Barbie necklace. This is Candy Licious's little skirt, cute. And she still has on her hose, guys. And I had to style it that way because I didn't want to take the hose off yet. <laughs> because the last time I took them off, um, when I had nails and stuff, I actually got a run in them. So I don't want to do that today. Anyway, she also has on these little boots right here that belong to Lady Diva. And the jacket that she has on belongs to Cosmic Nova. So I think this is a really cute look for her. And these glasses that she has on, um, they actually belong to Shadow. So if you get Shadow, you can get those. And I put it on like her head right there. But I thought that that was a cute little look for her. Oh, and she has Roller Chick's little purse, the little disco ball purse, which is cute. I love the color of that one. And so guys, this is the look that I have for Uptown girl okay guys so that's the end of round three and since I have two of each doll I thought I would let you guys get a chance to see at least a couple of the looks that we had for each girl hope you guys enjoyed the video so before we wrap up the video I know there was an important announcement that you guys are waiting to find out who won the giveaway so I am pleased to announce the winner of the giveaway is Cali 555 thank you so much for clicking and sticking with me and I appreciate all of the comments and your participation in the contest. Now for some of you guys, I am so sorry I didn't have like a gazillion dolls to give out to everyone, but I wanna thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm sorry that you didn't win. In the future, I'll be doing more giveaways, more Battle of the BBs, 
and things like that. If you guys have any recommendations on who you want to see go head to head, let me know in the comments below. But most of all, Rock Play Pals, you guys are the judges. Let me know in the comments who you declare to be the winner. Is it Downtown BB or is it Uptown Girl? Also, I love hearing which BB you think won round by round, as well as what outfit or outfits were your favorite. But that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on Instant Ride Play. That's what it's all about.